Hanzo 2.0 is coming in April. Oh Lord. And, and, and. Brigitte is not launching this week, but she probably is next week, and Symmetra is a long way away. Oh, and it looks like Sombra could be getting nerfed. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. So let's, and of course I'm Stardust, so let's check this out then. So Jeff's been on the forums, and uh, he says that with Symmetra, they're still in like an exploration brainstorming mode. So basically they don't have any sort of set plan for it just yet. Um, they've got a few different directions, but none of it is quick and easy to do. Uh, but they care about improving the hero and they talk about her frequently. Now, Symmetra is a, well, it's a difficult one, but I think when we look at what Jeff has said in the past and then we look at this, it's clear that what they're doing with Symmetra is probably a complete rework of the hero. So it's it completely changes the way it's played. So maybe we're going to see in the future a Symmetra which isn't actually the Symmetra we've got today. I mean, yes, yeah, Symmetra had the rework in the past and that did make her slightly more engaging to play. It gave her the additional ultimate, gave, well, it gave her the shield generator, it gave her the uh, projected barrier, you know, and that, that's cool, but uh, really, Symmetra was just still Symmetra. It just made her a little bit more entertaining to play in the same old Symmetra way. So it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Go crazy in the comments below. I mean, honestly, the sky's the limit with this. But the fact is, Symmetra changes are going to be a very, very long way away. Okay, let's let's talk about Hanzo because Hanzo is a huge one. Like everybody's been hoping for Hanzo changes really soon, but. We know that uh, it was going to take some time for this to actually, well, get made because they were at the stage where they were making um, animation for Hanzo's new ability, which we know uh, around about what that's going to be, like a rapid fire type of ability. So Jeff is basically saying, look, the animation and visual effects and sound work are scheduled to begin after Brigitte. Now, uh, whenever she releases, but it's going to hit the PTR after that. So Jeff is hoping for some time in April. So again, this is like Hanzo, the changes are coming, but they're coming in April. So anybody who's waiting around for Hanzo changes, don't expect them anytime soon, which I think is fair enough. So then on to Brigitte, and she... <laughs> Well, Jeff says the testing has been awesome on the PTR for her, and everyone's been a huge help, but uh, she's not coming out this week, but she's almost ready. Now, I sort of look at my uh, big book of Overwatch updates, and I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what's actually going on? Now, I, I presume that because we've, ha we've, we've finished in the week now of Brigitte on PTR, so next week she should be launching, right? I would imagine she'll launch on Tuesday or on Thursday next week. If she doesn't, I will be very shocked. This is because we are then getting very close to April. We're getting towards the end of March. This is when we're going to start getting information on potentially the new Uprising event. Also, as well, we know Hanzo is going to be on the PTR sometime in April. So they kind of have to get Brigitte out sort of next week, as it really doesn't make any sense. Maybe they could push it to the week after, but I, I highly doubt that, because I think, like, uh, there were some interesting tweets that were sent to me, and people were saying, look, Stai, I play on console, and honestly, I'm not hyped for Brigitte no more, because, well, I can't play it, because I play on console. You know, they don't have access to the PTR. Yeah, everybody on PC can play on PTR, but that's not console. Those guys only get it when the hero drops on the live service. So I'm pretty sure the next major launch will be Brigitte, and it will be next week. I'll be very, very shocked if that's not the case. The next thing we've got, and this is the final thing for this video, is the Sombra nerfs that could potentially be on the horizon. Now, this is from a pro called Zachary, and uh, he plays for the Fusion University, which is the academy team for Philadelphia Fusion. Now, he says that in the pro feedback Discord chat group, which only pros are allowed in, um, they've everyone's been asking for Sombra nerfs, and Blizzard have said, yeah, look, we're going to do something about Sombra, so don't worry about it. But I've got a couple of questions about this, because we all thought we were going into this horrific Sombra meta. I'm not seeing any of this on the ladder. You know, I've played my fair share of Sombra, and yeah, she's more effective. Yeah, the hack's super annoying to play against, but she's still kind of like, she's not, it's not the, it's not the Mercy meta. People were thinking this could be the Mercy meta. So why don't the pros like Sombra? Well, you know what? I think it's simply because the hack is too quick. Now, the way the hack works is it's 0.6 seconds and you get hacked. Basically, you don't have a chance to turn around and... Like, if Sombra's behind you and she, she initiates the hack, you will not have a chance to interrupt her or get away or do anything. Unless you're, I think, Moira... 
uh, or like Tracer with recall available, you're not really going to be able to do anything. She's going to hack you, and that's it, right? You're just going to have to deal with it. Um, and that's not great. I don't don't think people like having control taken away from them. And you know, I'm pretty sure Blizzard have been on record saying this. They don't like it. Uh, or they're not really keen on characters that take control away, or they understand that it's not great for the player's perspective, which is weird because we've got May and, you know, all of that stuff. Um, so it is strange that they would increase the hack to what they've done. Now, I think for the pros, it is, uh, it's frustrating because it's one of those, it's kind of an ability where anybody can sort of hack a pro and then just kill him. Like, if a pro Genji comes at you and you hack him, well, I mean, you can't do anything. You're just going to kill him. So to a pro, that's like, uh, this is so bad because I'm a much better player than you, but you've just, like, hacked me and I've lost. Now, I'd argue, well, actually, uh, I've just picked a better hero, so, you know, I've countered you with my hero pick, which is kind of what Overwatch is about. The thing is, though, what the pros say is generally in their little pro bubble, but it does really apply to us down the line. And you do have to look at it and think, okay, if they don't like Sombra, there must be a reason why. Now, remember the Mercy situation. The pros hated Mercy, and Mercy was everywhere at the pro level. Mercy is still a fantastic hero right now, and she's still totally playable, but you don't see her played in every pro game all of the time. I think the fear is for the next Overwatch League stage, we're going to see Sombra absolutely everywhere. So I guess the onus is on Blizzard that if they think that's going to be a problem, and if they value the feedback from the pros enough, then they'll probably nerf Sombra before the next Overwatch stage, so she doesn't get played all the time. Now, if they don't, it means that Blizzard have looked at what the pros have said and thought, hey, that's fine. But really, does the data correspond? Now, what I mean by the data is Blizzard will look at the statistics they've got. They'll look at Sombra pick rates. They'll look at Sombra win rates. And it's not like Mercy. Mercy was in every single game. Sombra isn't. Sombra's win rate has gone up slightly and her pick rate's gone up slightly. It's nothing amazing. That's just kind of in accordance with her getting a slight buff, I guess. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I've been Stylosa and this is Unit Lost. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, then like the video. Remember, you can subscribe to me, uh, well, on YouTube if you want, and uh, follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. I've also got an Instagram, which is at Stylosa, and Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.